up guys welcome back to the soups channel my name is matthew Robinson. on this channel i am to entertain inform and inspire using the topic of discussion as always which is superheroes so guys today we got some major confirmation some major news regarding christian bale's involvement with thor love and thunder so let's break it all down so we've known for a while now that christian bale the actor that played batman in his own trilogy has signed on to thor love and thunder however we didn't know who he was playing a bunch of people were speculating beta, beta ray bill Others were speculating a mysterious character. Uh, others were speculating the vi the main villain of the movie. And today we have confirmation from a direct source that's a part of the movie in Tessa Thompson, the actress who plays Valkyrie and who will be in Thor Love and Thunder, recently confirmed in an interview that Christian Bale has signed on to play the main villain of the movie. Now keep in mind that Thor Love and Thunder will focus on Jane Foster becoming the next Thor. So this movie is going to have a powerhouse team. I mean, not only could we potentially get a Guardians of the Galaxy cameo as Thor right now from the last moment we saw him was with the Guardians of the Galaxy, but you're going to have two Thors in the movie. That is a major powerhouse team. So whoever the villain is going to be, it's going to be someone that can handle some major heat. And I believe without a shadow of the doubt that Christian Bale will be playing Gore the God Butcher in Thor Love and Thunder. For those of you who don't know who Gore the God Butcher is, Gore is an alien that set out on a conquest to kill all the gods in the universe after the gods failed to protect his kind from extinction. Now Gore is the only alien of his kind left and he's on a conquest to go kill all of the gods as they fail to protect his own kind. In the comics, as Gore was on his conquest to kill all of the gods in the universe, he had a whole lineup of gods that he had already killed, but he killed a god in the Americas on Earth and the body washed up and Thor found it with on Asgard on Earth. So this is a plot point we could directly see take place in Thor Love and Thunder as as Gore is on his conquest to kill all the gods in the universe, he ends up killing a god in the Americas and it washes up on new Asgard and Valkyrie, being the new king of Asgard, king or queen of Asgard, ends up finding the body as it washes up on Asgard's shore. And hear me out here, because if Christian Bale is really going to play Gore the God Butcher, this could be the movie that connects the Sony Spider-Man universe and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because hear me out, Gore, got his powers from a god that was dying and a symbiote bonded with gore creating the necro sword which is one of the most powerful weapons in the universe and the necro sword and the symbiote it bonded with gore and that's how he gained his the power to kill and slaughter gods so with gore's main weapon being the necro sword that is constructed out of a symbiote this directly connects to the Sony Spider-Man universe, because what if the Venom symbiote itself is one of the offsprings from the symbiote that bonded with Gore? Like this is way bigger than we think it is, because we know that from Venom that the symbiote came from a planet of symbiotes, which that's how it is in the comics. And what if one of the symbiotes from that planet bonded with another god that ended up dying and the neck and the, that symbiote ended up bonding with gore like that's what happens in the comics so this is how this you guys see how this is all interconnected with the spider-man universe even though it's dealing with thor and aliens and the asgardian god side of the marvel universe and because gore has the symbiote bonded to him creating the necro sword which is one of the most powerful weapons in the marvel universe him and Thor have both had their share fair of mega battles. Like they have a huge beef and their battles have gotten so crazy that they both literally almost died from fighting each other. There's been many times where Gore is about to kill Thor, where Thor cuts off Gore's arm, cutting off the necro sword and the symbiote. Like they've had their fair share of rivalries and I can definitely see Gore giving Thor a run for his money in Thor Love and Thunder. And the fact that he's being played by Christian Bale makes it all the much better because Christian Bale, an A-list Hollywood actor, can perfectly play a character like this. I mean, the best way I can describe gore from the characters we already know from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is picture Ebony Maw mixed with Hela. 
combine them both together and you get Gore the God Butcher. So with Christian Bale playing the main villain in Thor Love and Thunder, all the signs are pointing towards him playing Gore the God Butcher. Gore, again, just to recap, Gore is an alien who was raised to believe in gods and worship gods, but after his whole alien race was wiped out, leaving him as the last one of his kind, he ended up finding out that the gods just never did their job in protecting his kind. So then he set out on a conquest to avenge his kind and slay all of the gods in the Marvel Universe. So best believe that Gore is coming for his revenge against Thor in Love and Thunder. And I just cannot wait to see the action sequences with Gore and his Necro Sword versus Thor and Stormbreaker and Jane and Mjolnir. It's going to make for the most badass action sequences we've ever seen in the Marvel Universe. So let me know what you guys think about all of this information in the comment section down below. Make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when videos like this go up about the future of the MCU. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.